Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Crypto.com. I'm going to give you guys my theory on Crypto.com, and it's going to encompass everything that's happened lately with some of the recent card stake changes that I've made with some of the recent adjustments they've made to the staking terms that they have when you do deposit for your card on Crypto.com. Also, with the earn feature and what they're doing with DeFi, what it means for the future, and why they've kind of done what they've done. Stick around to the end of the video to find out exactly what I'm talking about here. If you like the content, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you like free money, take advantage of the link in the description down below. If you go ahead, use a referral code to sign up for crypto.com, you get a free $25. If you also use a referral code for Femex, you can get up to $4,100 when you deposit and buy crypto on Femex, and you can get up to a hundred thousand dollar free trade. How about that, guys? Without further ado, let's hop into the charts. So, taking a peek at the crypto market cap for the day, we're currently at nine hundred billion dollars. So, Bitcoin sitting at that twenty thousand dollar price level, still Ethereum, still, and that comes after the Fed Chair Powell came out and made some news today. He actually spoke in front of the Senate. There was a Senate hearing today, and that was a big deal. And he didn't kill the market, so that's a good sign because last time he spoke, he killed the markets, and uh, it tends to happen. But it didn't this time. Could we be having that bottom? It's possible, but truly not likely. Um, we're going to talk about Crypto.com in this video and FTX a little bit, but mostly Crypto.com. So recently, Crypto.com got into a lot of trouble on Twitter because... They ended up coming out and slashing their staking rewards for those people that locked up money in CRO for 180 day term to uh, earn APY on that stake amount. It was 12% for the rose gold. It was about 8% for the, the step down, the indigo and jade green below that. And I think it was about 14% that you'd get uh, or maybe even 16% on uh, APY for the CRU stake for the Obsidian. So they cut those things down by like half. And and at one point it was more. And then they walked it back. So they played some games there. They also slashed their earn rewards on the earn platform uh, way, way down. So when you go to the website here and you check out kind of what they offer, I am with the United States, uh, they offer quite a few different products. And so... You know, some people are asking, well, what do they even do? Well, they, they do do a lot. Uh, they're just kind of changing what they're focusing on. So the earn feature, they ended up uh, getting rid of a lot of the uh, of the interest here on, on this program. So uh, it used to be you could get, you know, 8%, 10% on your Bitcoin, 12% on your stable coins. But now they're only offering 0.1%. Uh, they're offering... Uh, like 2% at best, if not, you know, worse than that. So right here, you can see 16% uh, APY. Now this is interesting. So I haven't seen this. Earn, they used to focus on the earn situation that they had in the centralized app. Notice here that they're showing the DeFi earn. And this is a great point. Right now on the DeFi app, you can actually earn. Uh, now, I don't even think this is accurate. You can't earn 16%. You can earn about 12% right now on the DeFi platform uh, through different staking pools. I'm currently in a staking pool uh, called Jerry's Pool, and that's where I'm currently getting about 12.7%. Like, um, but you, know, you can get a lot of really good interest on your coins here. Now, if you go to the regular app, you can't quite get uh, that same return on just like the centralized crypto.com app. You got to go over to the crypto.com DeFi app and you got to utilize the Kronos chain. You got to utilize the crypto.org chain and you got to start working in DeFi. And so this is really, really big, guys. And I think that this identifies exactly what has happened with crypto.com as of late. There has been a transition from focusing on the card benefits and the cash back and the rewards and the APY for the staking on the card and the earn feature on the centralized application. They pivoted over to focus on DeFi. So to, that's one, to comply with regulations so they're not at risk, like a Celsius or a BlockFi who all had to cut the rates because regulation is right around the corner. Uh, two, 
I think that they're trying to focus on establishing their footprint in the DeFi ecosystem by getting their volume going there. Now they have 10 million users. The cards were a great way to get people on boarded. Now they have to lessen those rewards to stay sustainable and move it over to DeFi where we're kind of all interacting our money with each other instead of having this entity just crypto.com giving us, you know, a bunch of money, earn earn rates and all this. It's kind of a community. That's what DeFi is, right? I I lend money, you borrow it, and then we each get to, you know, collect, you know, accordingly or you pay interest if you borrow the money through DeFi. So I think there's a big pivot there. And the proof is when you look at DeFi Llama, they are currently at number seven. They've got $1.1 billion locked up, total value locked up. And that's been climbing since this card change, since the bear market has come, and they're going up. And I think they'll pass Polygon. I think they'll pass Solana. I think they could end up at spot number three. That's a bold prediction, but I believe this is a prediction that Crypto.com will claim number three spot in this market here, in the DeFi space, within the next three to five years. That's my official prediction. And what that means for the price of CRO is actually quite a bit. So if you think about that, that would be a 4X on total value locked up, which means you're probably going to have more than a 4X in the price. And that's going to be, you know, a lot of money. And guys, I think that it's going to creep its way back up. A lot of people were salty. A lot of people were hurt that the earn rewards were slashed on the regular app and the staking for the cards. But you know, it's it's kind of like uh, diminishing returns, right? Nothing good lasts forever in the way if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Well, it, it was there, it was true, but it wasn't sustainable, right? And I'm glad they did it because I need them to be sustainable because I do believe in the project. I believe in the DeFi ecosystem. There's a lot of really great projects on the, the uh, Kronos chain from MMF Finance over to uh, you name it. I mean, there are so many great, programs on the DeFi platform for Kronos Chain that this ecosystem is currently thriving and it competes against Solana. You know, I mean, you look at what's going on with Solana right now, I think it's arguably stronger than Solana right now. Now, Solana's got almost three times the value locked up, but this is what I'm seeing right now in the markets. This is what I see out of Crypto.com and Kronos Chain. I believe that they're pivoting and they're focused on DeFi. My family member asked me earlier today, well, I don't even know what Kronos does. What does they do? Well, the answer used to be cards and the app's great and it's an exchange and you need the CRO tokens to get the card and you can still do that. And that still is a use case. It's not as fruitful as it used to be, but I'd say now the focus is they're an exchange and they have one of the largest DeFi ecosystems in the crypto community. And that's the truth. And you need Kronos tokens in order to operate successfully on the Kronos ecosystem. Truly to use the Kronos dApps, you need Kronos tokens. Keep that in mind, guys. That's all I got in today's video. Keep an eye on crypto.com. Keep an eye on the Kronos chain and how it climbs in total value locked up. My prediction, spot number three, next three to five years. Let me know what you think of that in the chat box down below. That's all I got in today's video. I am Crypto Kip, and this is the Crypto Report. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, you got a DCA hodl, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.